This is the fifth part of an introduction to APL, where we're going to see order of execution, reduction, scan, and algorithms. In classic mathematics, when one sees something like, give me the square root of the double of y minus 1, you must first find y minus 1, then we must find the double, then we must find the square root. It looks a little bit like we're working backwards here. In classic mathematics, there's a precedence of product or division over plus and minus. For example, when we have 6 divided by 2 plus 1, we perform the division first, and then we do plus. This gives us 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and plus 1, which finally is 4. Furthermore, when we have something like 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 1, what we really mean is give me 2 plus 4 and then subtract 3 plus 1 or 6 minus 4. In classic mathematics, there are many different rules which can lead to many confusing situations. In EPL, there is just one rule. All functions, whether primitives, like plus, minus, or division, or user functions, are equal. In EPL, when one sees something like square root of 2 times y minus 1, you have to execute them from right to left, just like in classic mathematics. Before you can do square root, you must do 2 times, and before that, y minus 1. Just like in math. In APL, there's no precedence of product or division over plus and minus. We start from the right. For example, when we have 6 divided by 2 plus 1, we mean 6 divided by 2 plus 1. We perform the plus first, then we do the division. That is 6 divided by 3. Furthermore, when we have 12 minus 3 plus 4 minus 1, we really mean 12 minus 3 plus 4 minus 1, or 12 minus 3 plus 3, or 12 minus 6, not 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 1 as in math. Reduction. This is how to reduce a list to a single number by inserting a function between the elements. Here's an example. If we want to find the sum of a list of numbers, we reduce the list by inserting plus between each number. If the list is 3, 7, 10, 5, plus slash list is the same as doing 3, plus 7, plus 10, plus 5. Another one, if we want to find the product of a list of numbers, we reduce the list by inserting product between each number. So product slash list is the same as saying 3 times 7 times 10 times 5. So to find the maximum of a list, we use maximum slash. To find the minimum, we use minimum slash. To find out if everything is true, we use and slash. To find if any is true, we use or slash. To find the alternate sum of a list, we use minus slash. How does it work? Minus slash 3, 5, 11, 2 is the same as 3 minus 5 minus 11 minus 2, or 3 minus 5, to which we subtract 11 minus 2, or 7 in the end. This is the same as in math, 3 minus 5 plus 11 minus 2. Reduction also works on matrices. Consider this table. We can sum row by row and, and get two numbers or we can sum column by column and get four numbers. To sum line by line, we do plus slash the matrix. We get one answer or one number per row. This is the same as doing sum of the first row followed by the sum of the second row. To sum column by column, we use slash bar. The little bar in the slash shows which dimension we're trying to apply to function. Without a bar, we're applying on the rows. With a bar, we're applying on the columns. So, plus slash bar m sums up on the columns and we get four numbers. Scan. This is how to apply reduction successively to a list of numbers. For example, to find the running sum of a list of numbers, we scan the list. We apply reduction on the first, reduction on the two first, reduction on the first, three elements, and so on. Here, to find the running sum of a list of numbers, we do plus scan. 3, 7, 10, 5. This is the same as plus slash 3, which is 3, plus slash 3, 7, which is 10, plus slash 3, 7, 10, which is 20, and plus slash 3, 7, 10, 5, which is 25. Scan works on matrices too. We can scan row by row 
or we can scan column by column. To scan line by line, we, we use plus backslash and the matrix. To scan column by column, we use plus backslash bar and the matrix. Other scans, well, we have and scan, which keeps all the ones up until the first zero, which is basically the same, true until false. And or scan is the reverse, is false until true. So we'll keep all the zeros until we hit the first one. The location of slash bar and backslash bar characters are located right there, bottom right corner of the keyboard. Algorithms. An algorithm is a series of steps to achieve a result, pretty much like a recipe. For example, if you want to find the range of a series of numbers, you find the highest number, then you find the lowest number, and then you return both numbers. So here's in APL how you would do it. You take the highest number as the maximum slash of the series, the lowest number is the minimum slash of the series, and then we show both numbers. So, APL works from right to left, because there are no special rules in APL. You can use slash or slash bar to insert a function between each number of a list. You can use backslash or backslash bar to apply a function successively to a list. An algorithm is a series of steps to achieve a result.